Oh, I did. Oh, let me just read it again then. <laughs> okay, 90 subsets, uh, 90 subsets too. Given a collection of integers that may contain duplicates, nums, return all possible subsets, the power set. The solution set must not contain duplicate subsets. Okay, it shouldn't be that bad. I mean, it shouldn't be that bad only because... It's a little weird. Uh, I mean, so the weird part for me is just trying to figure out what n is, and if they tell you what n is, then like, you know, you could play around with it. Uh, at the end of the day, uh, the power set is always going to be, you know, two to the n for some n. Uh, there's no way around it. Uh, but the the thing is, and some of the problem with this problem that maybe I have to think about would be that, um, well, like. Like, you know, it's going to be two, 2 to the n, you know, as the complexity, but like how much how much optimization do you want, right? Like, let's say you have an array of, you know, just, oh, oops. Let's say you have just an array of ones and you have like, let's say n in this case is like, I don't know, 30, right? Um, let's say n is equal to 30. I, I didn't count that. So let's say this is the case. Uh, well, like, Technically, yes, it's 2 to the n, where n is still dirty, so it's 2 to the dirty, which is like a billion, right, uh, operations. But obviously, uh, an optimization is, um, an optimization is just, you know, having, you know, dirty elements because you, you get to dedupe all of them, right, uh, very quickly. Uh, so, you, so you wouldn't necessarily do a depth of search type thing, for example, but, uh, yeah, it's really weird. I mean, not weird, just like I don't know what the bounds are, so that that uh, murky things up a bit. I'm gonna sort first, just as usual, um, and then I guess just do a depth for search. Usually, I for power sets, I yeah. Uh, you know, when you do a power set, you really have a good idea of what your input data is, uh, in the sense that like either n is small or you know, that they have some characteristics, so then you could write something spe specific for them. Um, but in this case, you don't. <laughs> so uh, so you have to kind of guess a little bit, which is, I think for, I mean, everyone liked this problem, a lot, a lot of thumbs up, so I, maybe I'm overthinking a little bit. Right, let me just do the bit mask one first, and then if, if this times out, then I'll do another one. Um, also, I think, I think in Python, there's like in other tools, there's a power set, right? Or then, I'm gonna Google real quick, because I'm not gonna use it, but yeah, in other tools, there's a, a sort of a power set, so it's by recursion. Uh, and then just put in this set, so. Okay, it's in. Uh, Actually, because I need to mind one, I always forget. Um, Uh, hmm. I should not know that, but, but that's fine. We could just I think I can see plus plus. You can maybe I'm wrong actually. So hmm.
Thinking about C++ too much. Well, close, maybe. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's what I was thinking, but that's a bit weird, is it? I don't know. Also, <laughs> nice to see you on Black Thanks for the Python tip as usual. Uh, I guess that's how I should do it. I, but uh, think about weirdness too, because how does this happen? Did I just miss the first number? I think I missed the first number. Let me just print this. I am just bad at this actually, never mind. Excuse me. All right, let's see if this one's because depends on the input set. Yes, I mean, okay. There are a couple of ways you could do it with depth first search and you know how you do it with bit masks and stuff. But I think the the annoying thing with this problem is the deduping things, which actually is not that hard. But it's just that um, like, like sometimes you have to. I think for me the hard part about that is just like the problem asks you to uh, read. The, uh, the interview is mine and that like well like you know, there could be a, a, you know a lot of different edge cases that you can optimize for just for like and they're all like you know sub uh, sub exponential time optimization right like you know you're never gonna you know uh, in the worst case it's always gonna be two of n because two to the n because there's two to the n in the output uh, and sometimes you you know some weird like like I was saying like in this case like yeah, it will be much slower uh, if you do two to the end versus like just a some pseudo linear thing. But uh, I mean that's what I don't like about this farm. But uh, I mean it seems okay, and I don't. It could have been faster, but with some optimizations. But because uh, definitely I do a lot of stuff for deduping, which is a little awkward. But it's not the end of the world. I still actually don't know what biggest n is. Maybe I'll look it up later. But um, but yeah, but I think this is relatively okay. I mean I think if on an interview we might. People generally ask you to, to do it recursively just because I think it's slightly easier. Uh, or not easier, just like it tests you more. Or, you know, recursion is something that people expect more than random bit mask manipulation. But, uh, but eh, I mean, the code is still generally pretty straightforward. It's just around the deduping, which maybe you could play around with uh, with respect to the index and stuff like that. But I didn't. So, um, then you could sort and then do that, but yeah. Okay, cool. I think that's right for this problem. Let me know if you have questions. <laughs> but uh, that's a co code style. I mean, uh, I, it's not much you could 
I mean, you can maybe have put this in a method, but it's 10 lines of code. So, yeah.